Okay, this is the third time that I've tried to film this video for you guys. Um, this was supposed to be uploaded on Friday, it was filmed, and for some reason it just wouldn't load. I tried to film it and upload it last night, but it was just so orange because it was late at night by the time I could finally film it, so we're just filming it right now. This is my empties video for the month of June, and um, as always, um, I'm going to go through all my other stuff and then the makeup is at the end. So first things first, this is the very last Bath & Body Works candle that I have in my collection. This is um, the holiday scent. This came out during the holidays. Um, this was extremely cinnamony and there was a lot left at the bottom that it just didn't burn. So I would not purchase that one again and I don't know if I'm going to purchase any more Bath & Body Works candles, at least not for quite some time. I have a package of the Equate Baby Wipes. This is in the Soft and Smooth Shea Butter scent. These were okay. They were quite cheaper than the Huggies ones that I typically buy, so I would consider purchasing these again, but I, I always have these in my empties videos because I use them to take off swatches on my hands and to wipe up the like wipe off the makeup counter when I'm done putting on my makeup because somehow I get makeup everywhere. I have a big thing of sunscreen here. I went to pull it out for use this summer and I noticed on the back, I purchased this last year for my daughter's field day at school and it had expired on the back. So check your expiration date on your sunscreen because if it's expired, the SPF doesn't work. Okay, hair. I have three boxes of the Revlon Color Silk Hair Dye, and these are all in the shade black. I use two of them to do all of my hair, and then I use one to touch up my roots. So you can get these at Walmart for, I think it's like $2.97. So it's a really cheap way to manage your hair on your own. I have samples here. This is the Living Proof perfect hair day. I have a shampoo and conditioner. I wasn't really impressed with these. I wouldn't purchase the full size. I have a number four non-aerosol hairspray. This came out of a birch box. I took this on vacation when um, we went to San Francisco at the beginning of the month and it was okay. I wouldn't use my birch box points to buy that or even purchase it with cash or anything like I wasn't that impressed. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Shampoo. This was okay. I wouldn't purchase the full size. This is a Batiste dry shampoo. This is in the dark and deep brown shade. I did like this because typically when I use a dry shampoo they leave a white cast in my hair but this one didn't so much so I would consider purchasing this one again if I can find it on sale again. I got this one at Marshalls for $5.99 instead of the, what are, what are they normally, like $8? I have a little Bath & Body Works pocket back in the Market Peach scent. I do like these just for the scent purposes. I don't like them for any sort of antibacterial purpose just because they learned in my food microbiology class that when you use these, um, you have bacteria on your hands. When you use them, you rub it around in your hands and then the bacteria is loose on your hands. So anything that you touch after that, the bacteria from your hands gets transferred onto whatever you touch. So I don't use these for any antibacterial purposes. And the only reason why I have these in my empties videos is because I have free coupons for them. So I just use them for scent purposes. I have a whole bunch of lotion. As you guys know, I'm a lotion freak. I put lotion on a couple times a day. This is the Bath & Body Works Cashmere Glow. This is just a little travel size. I do like this scent. I prefer it in the fall and winter time, but it's such a lovely scent. Um, this is just the lotion formula. I prefer the cream or the body butter formula, but this was nice. I think I had a coupon to get it for free. This one was also okay. This is the St. Ives Intensive Healing Body Lotion. And this one did moisturize quite well, but I wasn't too fond of the scent, so I probably wouldn't purchase the full size of this one. This was absolutely amazing. This is the Victoria's Secret Bombshells in Bloom body lotion. Oh my goodness, this stuff smells heavenly. Right now all I have is the perfume. I'm considering going back to Victoria's Secret and purchasing one of these. Just It didn't moisturize very well, but the scent of this is just 
phenomenal. It has pink freesia, red apple, and water lily. It is, oh, it's, it's so good. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite scents in the entire universe. Oh, the air just kicked on. Sorry if that's kind of distracting. This came out of my June birch box. This is the Gilcrest and Soames body lotion. Um, it was all right. The scent was really nice. It was kind of a clean, crisp scent, but it didn't moisturize after three or four minutes after putting it on. It didn't feel like I put anything on. So I wouldn't use my birch box points for this and I would not purchase it in the full size. I have a Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Body Lotion. This was okay. I wouldn't purchase it in the full size. I have a Hemp's Treats Mint Chocolate Cocoa Delicious Body Lotion. Um, you can see I had marks on here just because I wanted to get this out of my collection. Um, it smelled okay. I wouldn't purchase it again. The smell was almost too much, like too sweet. It, it was just a weird scent, so definitely wouldn't purchase that again. Um, that probably would have been nicer if it was in like the winter time around the holidays to have that scent on, but I just I just wanted to use it up. I have two Bath and Body Works antibacterial foaming hand soaps. This one, I think I got this during the holidays. This is the vanilla buttercream scent. I wasn't too fond of this. This was in our main bathroom. Um, and then I used it about halfway and then I put it into our guest bathroom just because I couldn't handle the scent. And then it took about six months to go through half of this in the guest bathroom just because it was so bad. This one though, this is in the Peach Bellini scent. I did like this scent and I would consider repurchasing that one. I have a Peter Thomas Roth Moisture Infusion Facial Bar. This was alright, but I wouldn't hunt down and purchase like the bigger size of it. Same with this, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Massaging Bar for the bath. It was okay. Just a bar soap, kind of. It, it was, it was alright. I finished a project pan at the beginning of the month. Um, I think it was like the first week into June. And this was from my project pan. This is the Arcona Toner Tea Bar. This does have a um, kind of like an herbal scent to it. And I'm probably going to repurchase one of these eventually. It's very herbally. I'd see if they had some different scents that I could buy a different scent just because I'm kind of burnt out on the smell of this, but I only use this when I have a major breakout and that's not very often. So I'm gonna wait like a month or two before I purchase this again. I have one of these in here. This is what I use to exfoliate my face. It's just a little glove that you put on and you can scrub the soap around on your face and it really exfoliates extremely well. Um, you can buy a two pack of gloves for, you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them at Walmart, you can buy them at Big Lots, you can buy them at even the dollar store. I've seen that they had them a couple times. So they're between like one and two dollars for two gloves and I change the glove probably every two months. So one pack you can get them between one and two dollars and it'll last you four months so very nice I picked up a pack of these um, face wipes at H&M when I was there they were on clearance for a dollar there I think there was ten in here this is in the pure vanilla scent I did like the scent of these but they didn't they weren't as wet as I would like and I had a little bit of trouble taking off um, eye makeup so I just used an eye makeup remover and then I would wipe off the rest of my face makeup with this. I used these when I went traveling at the beginning of the month so if I can find them for a dollar they're nice to have on hand for traveling but I probably wouldn't purchase them for like two bucks like the regular price. These are the Equate Beauty Nighttime Soothing Makeup Removing Towelettes. These are my absolute favorite. I really just like them for the scent. These are compared to the Neutrogena night calming ones and I think you can buy a pack of these. These have 40 in them and they're under four dollars. I think they're like three ninety six or something so nice nice buy right here and I will continue to repurchase these. Not in July though because I'm going on no buy July. I'm not buying any beauty related products for the entire month of July. You guys should consider going on that with me. Um, Alright, I have the Equate Beauty Premium Cotton Squares 
and I prefer cotton squares over cotton rounds or cotton balls just because I find that they they don't fall apart as easy and these ones if you can see on this image right here they have little ridges on them and I feel like that makes it slightly easier to take off like mascara and stuff so I really do like these and I will continue to repurchase them I have a toothpaste here this is the Colgate optic white dual action. This one's a little bit different than my favorite toothpaste. I thought that this would perform the same, but mm -mm. I do not like this one. This one made my teeth really sensitive, so don't, if you get sensitive teeth, like, periodically, don't get the dual action Optic White. It's mm -mm, very sensitive. Uh, this is the Cutex nail polish remover. This is just the regular one. This is my favorite brand of nail polish remover from the drugstore. Uh, I definitely think that this is a much, a much better quality than the drugstore brand that tries to be comparable to it. The drugstore brands, they don't seem to remove the nail polish as well as the Cutex brand, so I will continue to repurchase Cutex. I have a little tin here of tattoo goo. This is really nice if you have a lot of tattoo work and you like to keep your tattoos looking vibrant, you can put this on them. It's kind of like a salve and you put it on your tattoos. You don't want it too thick of a film on your tattoo, just a really thin layer and it keeps your tattoos looking brighter and I think that they look newer for longer when you have some sort of a uh, formula like this stuff on them. This this says on here it won't clog the pores and it enhances color on new and old tattoos. You can use this on a tattoo that's like 10 years old and it'll make it look a little bit newer. So I really do like tattoo goo. I think you can get them I think you can get tattoo goo online like through Amazon and stuff and I think some tattoo shops sell it but you not all of them. So the best bet would just be to get this online. I love this stuff. I will be repurchasing that. I have a little travel size container of the OptiFree Pure Moist Multi-Purpose multi Disinfecting Solution. I think I just got this because it came with a little case of, like a little contacts case, so that's why I bought this one. I have a little bottle here of some Visine Advanced Redness and Irritation Relief. Now, I think I read somewhere like a year ago or something that when you open up a Visine or any sort of an eye drops container, after 10 days it's not sterile anymore, so you need to throw it away after 10 days. And I kind of wasn't listening to that, and I tried to use this as much as I could. I'm clear down to like here in this, but what happened was I probably had this for two months or three months even, and I put it in my eyes at night time because my eyes were feeling kind of dry, and then I woke up the next morning and my one eye was so irritated and red. It looked like I had freaking pink eye, so it's going to be a long time before I buy some more Visine. I do like to put Visine in in the morning or some kind of an eye drop just because my eyes sometimes when I wake up they can feel kind of dry and irritated and they look slightly red. But it's going to be a long time before I um, purchase any Visine again. I think it was... I put the eye drops in and then the next day I filmed my this or that tag and my one eye is just so irritated. You can even see it in the video. It's bad but... It's this little culprit right here, so <laughs> it'll be a while before I buy some more of that. I have some perfume here that I went through. This one, this is the Burt's Bees Solid Perfume. This is in the scent Naturally Beautiful. I bought this probably over a year ago, and I haven't seen these in stores since then, so I don't think that you can purchase this anymore, but if you could, I probably wouldn't. Um, it was just a little tin, and it had, like, perfume scented salve and you just put it on your wrists and stuff and yeah it was okay I wouldn't buy it again now I have some perfume samples I was kind of focusing on um, using up a couple more perfume samples just because I use the really small Bath and Body Works candles they're about like this big and then they're about that tall and I put all of my perfume samples in one I put all my bobby pins in another one but my little container of perfume samples was overflowing, so 
I didn't want to clean out another one and put have two containers of perfume samples, so I just decided to use some up. This one is the Pink Sugar. I really do like this scent a lot, and I'll probably be purchasing the full size after I go through one or two big sizes of my perfumes. This one is, this one came out of a birch box. This is Fabulous by Isaac Mizrahi or something. I did not like this one whatsoever. Ew, it was kind of gross. This is the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This is my, one of my top favorite perfume scents. Um, my husband bought this perfume for me. It was the very first gift that he bought me and it was probably eight years ago. So I've been wearing this perfume, this flower bomb, for about eight years and I took this one traveling with us when we went on vacation for our business trip just because I didn't want to pack my full size one and risk it getting broken in like traveling on the airplane. This one is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This one's the Oh So Fresh. <laughs> Somebody corrected me the last time. I think I said You So Fresh, but it's Oh So Fresh. I really did like this. I have about five or six more samples of the regular, original Daisy perfume that I need to go through, but I really did like this one. I might go get another sample of this, and I would consider purchasing like the smaller size bottle of the Oh So Fresh. Okay. I have a little teeny sample of the YSL eye makeup remover. I did not like this whatsoever. You would think I had really high hopes for this eye makeup remover, but even the Sephora eye makeup, eye makeup remover was much better than this one. The Clinique one's much better than this. Even the Sonia Kashuk one is better than this one. You'd think with a high-end brand such as Yves Saint Laurent that you would be getting a really high quality eye makeup remover, but that was not the case with this. I really did not like this eye makeup remover whatsoever. And I don't even wear waterproof mascara and it wouldn't even take it off. Okay, this is the Be A Bombshell Mascara from Ipsy from the June Ipsy bag. If you look on your box and you have the batch 0310, you need to email Ipsy Care, throw this out, don't use this on your eyelashes, this is bad. It smells so disgusting and people have had complaints where it irritates their eyes. One girl had her freaking eyelashes melt off from this. Like it's bad. You no. Email Ipsy Care, throw this away. Do not use this on your eyelashes. They will actually send you out a replacement item if your mascara came from the batch 0310. I also got this one out of an Ipsy bag a couple months ago. I think it was just from this year. This is I don't know what brand this is, but this is the Shadow Tint in the Ambrosia shade, and this is absolutely stunning. It's just gorgeous. It's like a taupey, lilac, purple kind of a eyeshadow base. This is gorgeous. But after I finished my MAC Paint Pot in my last project pan at the beginning of the month, I went through my eye bases and I um, tried to play around with some you know, cream eyeshadows and stuff. And I went to pull this one out because I really love it, but it smells so bad now. So this one's going in the trash. I'm kind of sad about that, but I'm not going to put stinky stuff on my eyes. Okay, this is a cream blush from Sonia Kashuk. This is in the old packaging. I have had this for so long. Um, I think the shade is Sunset. And she doesn't have this in the cream blush form anymore but she does have it in the powder blush. I did hit pan on this. I used a whole bunch of this and then I swiped into it to leave a swatch on my hand in one of my makeup baskets. So that's the color right there. It's absolutely stunning on the cheeks. It looks beautiful if you're really fair like I am. Um, but it's so old it broke me out. I'm just gonna throw this away and I don't want to be broke out just for finishing up a product but mm. I really did like the color of that. Okay, this is the Tarte Vitamin Infused Lip Gloss in the shade Liquid Sunshine. I love these things. They don't make these anymore, I don't believe, but if they did, I would buy like 10 of them. They smell so nice. They smell absolutely delicious. Mm, my husband got this for me for uh, Valentine's Day one year. It wasn't last year, it was the year before. So what is that, 2012 he got this for me in February. So I really did enjoy this, but I decided to finish it up just to get it out of my collection. I have about 
587 lip products to get through so I did enjoy that while I was using it. I wish Tarte still made that. I have a DDF Ultra Light Oil Free Moisturizing Dew. Now I got this out of a birch box I believe and I don't think nowhere on here does it say that this is a face lotion and so the first two times that I used this I actually used this as a hand lotion which it worked really well but then I read some reviews on it and because I was like DDF isn't that a face company like face products skincare kind of a thing and it was this is for your face I did end up using the rest of this minus the first two times that I used it on my face I actually really did like this and I would purchase this but I'm pretty loyal to the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion so I'm gonna stick with that one even though this one was phenomenal okay I have a makeup forever HD foundation in the shade 117 thank goodness I finally finished this it's been a long time coming you can see it looks like there's stuff in here but I've had this upside down to get every last drop out of here there's lines all over in here just because it's completely used up you can see in there maybe you can like the bottom of the container all the way down in there it's it's completely used up I I did like this for the first little while that I used it but I'm really not gonna be spending forty two dollars on this foundation again just because there's other foundations that I feel like work better and sit on my skin better better I have dry skin and this just sat funny on my skin like in the t-zone it was it just looked weird to me so I mean I even think that the Revlon color stay the original one works better on my skin and sits better on it than this does so I would not repurchase this again oh, I have a Clinique even better eyes dark circle corrector this is just the little sample package of it um, I have another sample that I'm using right now and I really do like this stuff but I'm gonna hold off until October when Clinique does the gift with purchase again and I'll buy the full size which looks like this in October so I think it's every April March or April they do a gift with order gift with purchase and then again in the fall in October they do a gift with purchase so I'm gonna buy this but I'm gonna wait till October Ooh, I also found out in October Mac is releasing a collection for the Rocky Horror Picture Show oh, is that not cool I'm so excited about that okay back to my empties um, I have a NYC smooch proof 16 hour lip stain this is in the shade what is this forever freeze yeah I did like the shade I really like the scent of these but this one this one's just completely dried out like hardly anything comes out anymore so it's just going in the trash um probably not gonna repurchase this again even though I really did like it just because I have like I said 573 lip products to go through okay I have a mascara here I believe this is from L'Oreal I don't see you anywhere on here but I believe this is L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I did like this mascara for a more natural look, but I've kind of found my mascaras that I'm going to be sticking with for a while. That's what the brush looks like right there. Like I said, it is um, for a more natural look. Um, you have to be careful though, because if you... I go like this against my lash like the base of my lashes and then I drag it up and when I do that sometimes if I'm not careful this will scratch up against my um, eye eyelid and it kind of hurts so I'm probably not gonna purchase that one again even though I was quite satisfied with it I have a Revlon lip butter here in the shade cupcake this is just finely finished it's just a very easy pink to wear slightly blue based pink that's it right there it's gorgeous I just have way too many lip products to be purchasing any more of these lip butters they're just really soft and I find that they're very melty okay then I have the oh this came out of my project pan from the beginning of the month this is the Clinique uh, chubby stick in mighty mimosa this was just a very nice um, it was like a 
pinky orange coral kind of a shade so I'm not gonna purchase any more of those for a while I did notice that at my CCO the last time that I was there they do have probably eight or nine maybe even ten different shades of the Clinique chubby sticks so if I'm gonna purchase them again I'm gonna purchase them from the CCO I have a NARS lip gloss in the shade Ophelia. This one took me a really long time to use up. I'm so glad this was my last NARS lip gloss that I own. They smell really bad. They even reformulated them and they still smell bad. So down here, I can't get the rest of the product out. The brush doesn't reach the bottom. And up here, this is just a really small insignificant amount. It probably has like one application on the lips. I melted this down like I had hot water running on it and I'd melt it down and then use it and then run hot water on it and melt it down for the next time that I used it. I did that about 10 or 15 times. I'm not going to do that again to get this last application out. I'm just throwing it away. I have a Maybelline mascara here. This is the Falsies Volume Express. I really like this mascara. This is probably my absolute favorite drugstore mascara. I've just had this one around for a really long time. It's time for it to go in the trash. It does have a slight bend to it. I really like how voluminous this makes the lashes and it kind of lengthens mine a little bit. I like the, ori the original formula. I don't like the flared. I think they have a Falsies flared. I don't like that one. I am... Um, this one, this came out of my Ipsy bag, I think in May, I believe. This was the Urban Decay Black Velvet Liner, and I used it up to the point where I can't sharpen it anymore. I would consider purchasing this again if I didn't already love my MAC Black Track Fluid Line, but I have like one or two more black pencils that I need to go through first before I would even consider purchasing this in the future. And then finally, I have this sample here. This came out of the June... Um, Ipsy bag. This is like the Laneige, Laneige, I think it's Laneige um, BB cushion thing. I do like the fact that this has an SPF of 50, but there was only one use in here for me, and I can't use the medium or the dark, so this is just going in the trash. Alright, that's all I have for my empties video for June, and thank you so much for watching.